Hey, hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure secure OpenID Connect between GCP and GitHub for secure credentialless authentication. Right? So as you see in this PPT, this PPT depicts my demo. Here, I'm going to show you how we can use GitHub Actions to authenticate GCP for you know any kind of application deployment or infrastructure deployment. You know, so how do we use a secure and credentialless OpenID Connect method? to achieve the required you know authentication at gcp and then you know you do whatever you want to say like you know provision the infrastructure or deploy the resources on the infrastructure or deploy your applications on the gcp resources right so the flow of this demo would be something like this a developer would be working on the source code which is present on the github it could be infrastructure as a code or the source code deployment on the gcp infrastructure right so here the authentication mechanism is open id connect which is secure method to establish a connection with the you know the gcp not only gcp you know the open id connect supports for multiple other you know the um, cloud providers like azure and aws right so we're going to see how we can do that you know within a, in a short period of you know short limited time here right so what is the flow is you know here we're going to create a identity federation uh, configuration on the gcp iam and then we're going to leverage that you know the identity provider to trust a service account which is present on the gcp account and then by conjunction by by conjunction between these uh, you know identity federate you know identity provider plus a service account the the github action will leverage the open id connect base token and and then you know it establishes a connection between the you know the uh, the gcp and finally the whatever the you know the the, the steps you know steps that it has to do later it can do it yeah all right so with that note let's directly jump to the configurations this is my this is my you know so basically this is my uh, uh, google account so currently i'm in i yeah uh, so basically currently i'm in the identity and access management admin page so in this one we are in the in the option like workload identity federation yeah and similarly i have a repository in my github account so this is my github account i created a dedicatedly a repository called gcp hyphen ordc right underneath that i have created a workflow file that is a gcp hyphen ordc yaml file I'm going to walk you through this configurations, but before that, there is a prerequisite that we need to do on the on the GCP level, and that is what I'm going to tell you, right? So first of all, here we need to create a workload identity federation, uh, you know, pool. Basically, generally they call it as a create a identity pool in the GCP under IAM and admin services. Yeah. So to do that, you know, I have already articulated certain commands that is Google Cloud CLI commands. That is Z cloud commands. CLI commands are being written here. We're gonna execute the top two commands, and I'm gonna explain those. Uh, you know, so directly we're gonna execute those commands from the cloud shell. That is uh, GCP cloud shell. So what I do is I'm gonna activate the cloud shell right away, and then we're gonna run the these commands. So what these commands is doing is, you know, these are the commands which actually creates uh, basically, uh, you know, the uh, uh, the identity pool. Yeah. And then to that identity pool, it is basically creating a OIDC provider or nothing but it is appending a provider to that pool basically. Yeah. So let's run these commands one after the other. So I'm just going to copy the first command. So you need to run the two commands one after the other. First one to create identity pool. So to create that, you know, what you do is you're going to just, uh, just, uh, you know, do copy paste of this command. So I'm going to tell you what is this command does this. So it's a GC cloud as you see, as you see, it's a G cloud. I am workload identity pools that is create in the sense it is creating an identity uh, pool uh, with a name like my pool and then project id is this is my project id which is as you can see here and then the display name of that particular pool is that demo pool because this is a demo purpose i'm just going to give it uh, as a demo then what i do is i'm just i'm just hitting enter and when i hit the enter it is asking me to authorize which i did just now it says you know this identity is already exist okay so uh, if i go back to the um, uh, basically previous one looks like the previously created identity pool is already exist if i can refresh it um yeah let's see so basically it is because i have already tested it that's the reason it is telling that you know, hey it is already there yeah which may not be the case i'm just gonna see where is if there any remainder in in this case yeah so all right so it says you know the uh, the workload identity that is particular identity already exists what i do is i'm going to just change the name of uh, uh, you know the pool basically i'm just going to change the names so let me change it to my pool hyphen demo yeah so i'm just going to give the uh, name something like this hyphen demo so that it will create a new pool instead of uh, you know complaining about the existing pool 
so i will just append here a, a new pool name yeah so just new pool all right so we're going to create a, a you know the workload identity pool so looks like it is created it's it's in the flash in the sense it just like creates just like that i'm not going to refresh the session but if you if i go here and uh, and just refresh the session you should be able to see it basically it, it tell it is telling that you know the identity pool is created yeah that's the first job we need to complete and then the next command we need to uh, run is the next command is to create an identity provider which is a lengthy command which i'm going to tell you like how you need to configure it according to the our you know pointing to the pool which we created just now to run that and now i'm, I'm again going to copy the uh, command and paste it in the cloud shell so basically that what it does is it does creates identity provider underneath that pool yeah so that is google cloud i am workload identity pools then creating the provider create hyphen oidc provider and this is the my provider name so i'm going to append it with the uh, new name that is uh, because yeah because i have changed right so what i would is i'm going to go to back to the uh, provider and just say hyphen demo yeah so this is just a cli command what i'm going to going to do is you know just like just like changes in the in the names okay so while i explain the uh, command so i'm just going to append new here yeah all right so now let's go to the project so this is my project name that is cloud quick labs the location is is global and then the workload uh, you know the workload identity provider is you know so basically this is the identity pool so i need to change the identity pool as well so we have given the new name that is uh, my pool hyphen demo so i'm going to append with with the demo as well and then the display name is i'm going to change it to 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 demo provider so basically i'm just going to say it like this yeah and then attributes so in the attributes we need to this is mandatory mandatory attribute note that you know you have to run the commands as i am suggesting in this demo and the reference for these commands will be shared in my github repository and the github repository link will be shared in video's description you can find it from there so here google dot subject equal to assertion dot subject is the attribute and the one other one attribute is you know that is actor that is assertion dot actor is the value similarly audience you know that is ad uh, you know so basically dot o a a u d that is audience assertion dot odd is the value then the then the, then the next configuration or the next parameter is issuer uri that is which this is very very important you need to give the uri exactly something like this that is https colon forward slash action you know dot uh, github user content dot com yeah all right so with this configuration just hit enter you know it should create a identity provider for us now with that you know we are done with the configuration that we need to do with using cli i'm just going to close it off and i'm going to refresh the you know the the gcp here for you so that you can see the identity provider being created for us so we created a demo pool with the name new and underneath that we created a demo provider that is oidc provider now let me tell you so we need to, so this is not enough we need to do one more thing that is uh, you know connecting to a service accounts as i said you know we are actually creating a provider to that provider we are appending a service account of the google cloud and eventually we are using that you know so eventually under the hood you know basically those combination of the uh, identity pool with the identity provider being associated with the service account it does helps with the required authentication that is needed at the github actions so what i do is i'm going to go to the grant access click on that and then then choose the service account that is default one so i have chosen the default service account of the my account and the rest all configuration you can just keep it as it is and click on the save policy so that is that is that is update policy this one is not required because i have already done the configuration so i'm going to do the dismiss so with that configurations we are done from the gcp cloud side now we going we need to go to the um, go to the github action side and let's see you know what are the syntax we need to follow so for the demo purpose i have created a dedicated repository for this particular demo as you see here we have a repository called like like gcp hyphen oidc and underneath that what we are doing is i'm just keeping a folder called dot github forward slash workflow which is nothing but uh, a folder structure for to keeping the gcp uh, sorry the, the github action workflow files so if you open this one so you need to maintain the configurations underneath the workflow to to make the real you know oidc connect with you, with the gcp yeah so here uh, let me just walk you through the the flow of this particular um, you know so uh, particular workflow file the, basically you need to follow the same syntax yeah first one is the name of the workflow that is that is you know that is github actions name uh, that is list service because i'm running a list service here and then on workflow in the sense and which case this workflow has to be invoked so this is i'm choosing workflow dispatch which is which means that you know you can invoke either api you can either either invoke via via manual yeah 
and then in the permissions you need to give the oidc permissions that is id token equal to write this is the something like you know mandatory syntax we need to maintain on the gc for workflows sorry to the github action workflows yeah and then comes the job of the github actions in the underneath the job of the github actions you know we need to maintain the certain configuration which i'm going to tell you and you need to follow the same thing so here underneath that we are giving the job name equal to get hyphen oidc underscore id underscore token that is my job name and then the github runner which is i'm choosing is a public github, github runner with the with the version that is ubuntu latest and in the steps of the jobs you know i have a two steps one is to just to authenticate gcp and the one is to just check whether i am being successfully authenticated to to gcp by checking or by running the gc you know uh, in a google cloud clis so here id is authentication then the name of my step is authenticate to the gcp uh, then you know so the 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 api or the endpoint that i am using for for the of the uh, github action is google hyphen github hyphen actions for slash authentication version 0.13. so basically you can use it the same thing and then comes the width in the sense there are the other parameters need to be passed to this github action endpoints so that it get authenticated with the gcp right the first one is create credential file this is must and should parameter you need to keep that is create underscore credential underscore file which means that you know after authentication it does creates authentication json file which will be used by the github action machine to run the further commands okay that is like a google cloud cli commands which i'm running down the line yeah and then comes the workload identity provider so this is something you know you need to maintain the 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 format of the workload identity provider something like this okay so here we need to make a slight changes which i'm going to tell you here here project project is after that project you know you need to get the your project identity uh, so basically if you go to the you know the uh, 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 basically yeah so the, if you go to the um, uh, projects project information so if you go here there is a project number you need to keep the project number not the project name so project forward slash project number location equal to global and then you need to give the workload identity provider so basically these are all the parameters that is project value of the project uh, you know the id location then the it's a global is the value workload identity pools that is the name of my workload identity pool right so if i go to the i am uh, you know i am an admin if i go to the workload identity federations and and if you go to the your instance of the federations if you open this one there is an id value so if you see this is the id so we need to keep that id value there where actually actually after the pool in the sense you need to give the id of your you know the identity pool so our workload identity pool is something like this yeah and then comes the providers that is you know my providers after that providers if you go to the providers so what is the value of the provider that you have given that is this is the value that is uh, you know so basically you see here um, i have given like uh, uh, something like this is my pool yeah that is what value we have given and then comes the provider that is the demo provider yeah so i'm gonna just go ahead and, and create it so if you want to confirm what could be your provider you can just click on this one yeah uh, yeah just click on the uh basically yeah you can get the you can generate the values again so basically if i go back to the workloads and then um uh, go to the here and then go to the uh, uh basically edit yeah so then then just uh just uh just keep the values as it is so whatever we value we have provided through the cli that are all everything is been configured here you can further refine it after exploring from your side basically yeah so i'm gonna save it i'm just wanted to get that json file uh if i go to the uh, connected service accounts yeah so here is a download value so just to make sure that you know you are providing the value of that particular identity provider in the github action this can be checked correctly by referring the json file which we are providing here right so i'm just gonna say like test and i'm gonna download this uh, just to check verify the values so i'm gonna go to the downloads and this is the latest download which i did it if i go to the uh, open with notepad plus plus so if you see here the i just wanted to verify this right that is workload identity pool this is my pool and this is what the information i need so we basically you know keep these uh, you know whatever the value present here from here you know we just have to keep the same thing at my github action workloads okay that is what i'm just wanted to make sure so that's the reason i went there and copied like that you can do the same thing yeah and just remove this uh, backward slash not required rest all configuration is as expected yeah all right so with that next one is the service account so you need to keep the service account like this that is your that is the you know the uh, name of your service account in the github you know in the in the gcp 
and then comes the C the, the the Google Cloud CLI commands, which we want to experiment whether I have successfully authenticated or not. Yeah. So here, you know, what I'm doing is Google Cloud authenticate by referring the credential file, which will be created out of this job. It says whenever this task is get completed, it does create a credential file, and that would be referenced by you know Google Cloud CLI and sets the context of the my account and then once it is sets the context of my accounts i can just run a command that is google cloud service list belongs to this particular project in the sense what does this mean is this will return the services where i have enabled the apis yeah all right so with that you know what i do is i'm going to commit these changes and we're going to experiment the or the test run the workflows okay so i will go to the uh, uh, actions and let me go to the uh, this actions now what i do is i'm going to run that action because we have declared it as a you know, it's a GitHub action uh, run, you know, uh, workflow dispatch. Okay. I have just not run if I, if I need to get the instance of that run. So basically you can find like this and click on the same one. And you know, so currently you see it has successfully authenticated because it went right mark, right? So you can see the logs looks like it has done the job. Basically, you know, it is, it is trying to authenticate it basically, you know, with using credentialist method. Yeah. So how did you authenticate it? Basically by referring to a identity pool where the in that identity pool you have configured the github as the identity provider via oidc connect yeah and then you are integrating that provider with a, a, a service account a service account should have a minimum permission that is a minimum permission should be added into this uh, particular service account that is it should have an identity provider access on this service account or else you might get an error plus along with that you can provide the required permissions required to that service account finally we are also adding a you know the create a, a credential file and for the tokens yeah and finally you see that you know it is getting authenticated once it is getting authenticated it is going to the next job and that is where it actually getting authenticated basically if i go to expand this one so first command is to set the context of the google cloud which is getting set because the our credential file is being set here you know stored here and henceforth it is able to run the last command that is uh, get the service list so if i run that command basically you know you see it is getting all the service that i have enabled in my google account okay so with that context you know i have shown you the things need to be shown in this video finally a kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot so with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video